what's up guys today i'm going through how i created this zoom through transition here's the video clip that i'm going to be using for this so the first thing i'm going to do is go to the point where i want this effect to start happening so around about here and make sure you have about one second of video to do this transition and then let's press b on the keyboard and split the video clip there on this cut part of the video clip let's go to the effects tab over here and go to mask and keying and because this is quite a simple shape i could really easily use a draw mask effect to create a mask around the painting but because i have the mroto ai effect i'm just going to use this and create a mask around the painting and then go to the tracker and just track this forward so this is going to track the mask for the rest of the video clip around the painting now over here in the parameters i can go to output and go to mask video so now we're just left with the painting now let's copy and paste this video clip and on the top one let's invert the mask over here and on the bottom video clip i'm going to split the video clip again so let's press b and cut this so this first half will be for the sliding painting effect and then the second half will be for the zoom effect so on this one let's go to the transform tool and go to crop and then Ken Burns and we want the end square. Let's move the end square up and also right click and make sure ease out is selected. So now that painting slides out of the way, it comes back here. So on this bottom video clip, let's also invert this mask. So now we're just left with the hole in the wall. So now I can trim back this top video clip and on this last video clip, let's go to the crop tool again and the Ken Burns effect. And for this one, the end square, we need to make nice and small and put it inside of this black hole right here. And then right click and make sure ease out is selected. Click done. So now we should have this, which zooms into the black hole. And what I like to do is turn this last video clip into a compound clip and then add a speed ramp halfway through. So hold down shift and press B and just speed this up. So we get a bit more of a ramp transition. So now we can bring our second video clip underneath all of these and it will transition through to this video clip. And then if I cut this clip here, we can add a zoom to this video clip by going to the crop tool and then the Ken Burns effect. And let's zoom out and make the start box bigger and the end box around the video clip. And that will add a zoom in to that video clip. You may have to adjust it if you're getting like the cropped lines and if we cut it again just here and on this one we can create like a hold frame just by making the red box the same size as the green box so now when the painting slides the video clip inside won't move it will only start moving on the transition so we can also add effects to this background video clip if we add an adjustment layer, so let's go to the titles tab up here and go to adjustment layer. Adjustment layers don't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a free download. It just allows you to add effects to multiple video clips. So on this adjustment layer, I'm going to go to the effects expansion pack and I want to use this line art effect to give the video like sort of a painting effect. Let's change the paper color and change that to white. So it kind of matches the painting that was there. And then as we zoom in, I can keyframe the mix so that it fades to the normal video clip. Now we can add some motion blur on this to smooth it out over the transition. On this part, I'm only going to add the motion blur underneath here to affect the sliding painting and then I'll extend that out so we get some nice motion blur on the transition and you can see if I turn this on and off it gives us that nice motion blur I'll leave a link to motion blur in the description it's a free plugin that you can download so now if I play that back have a nice zoom through transition and yeah that's pretty much it for this one I hope you guys enjoyed this video, subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.